Student self-assessment is a great tool to use with your students. I've got three examples here, one using Highlight Hotspot, another the chart question, and then a second Highlight Hotspot. With the first example, the first thing I want to do is create a rubric. So I'm going to go into my resources and add rubric. And I'm just going to title it. I'm going to then start going through my criteria and add each of my, um, what each of the the points are worth. When I'm done, I'm going to take a screenshot of it. If you're on a Windows, you should have a clipping tool. I'm going to choose the highlight hotspot question type. I'm going to click Upload Image. I'm going to find the image I just screenshotted. Then I'm going to use this Draw tool and I'm going to draw boxes around each of these. When you're done highlighting each of these, you want to make sure that you've got the directions for the assignment, and then you have to tell the system what the answer is. I just clicked them all. Um, it's going to mark a bunch wrong no matter what the students put in there because you can't put in every single combination. But this is generally not going to be something that you're going to grade anyways. You're just really looking for how they um, responded. You do want to make sure that you put multiple responses there and then go ahead and click save. Let's look at this to see what it looks like. If we're going to preview it, the students see complete the following rubric for your writing assignment. They'll just choose one and you might want to put that in the directions. Choose one for each row. Um, for my second self-evaluation example, I'm going to use the chart question. So I'm going to put my question in there. I want to top out my y-axis at 5, and I want to give a title to my x-axis and my y-axis. Then I'm going to label. The labels are going to be what are the things that they are going to self-evaluate at on. Once I'm done with my points, I'm going to put in a value. I'm going to make them all five. And that's all I need to do with this particular one. So let's look what it's going to look like for the students. And rate yourself on the following criteria. So then they can use these bars and they can then rate their, themselves on each of these different criteria. And then make sure you, that you save this. And then the third type is something that I used to use after all of my um, math lessons, but we just did it in person, but this is a way that you can do it online. I created this image in PowerPoint. I create a lot of my images in PowerPoint. You can see here that I just added clip art and some text boxes. Now this is on a Mac, so it will look a little bit different when you're in Windows. But all you're going to have to do is when you click on File, and you want to export it. And on my Mac, it automatically defaults to PDF, but I'm just going to change it to either a JPEG or a PNG. And save that and then click Export. And then I can upload it into the question here. And then just like with the rubric, I'm going to use the Draw feature to draw um, 
around each of those pictures and then the students can just choose how they felt about the end of that lesson. And that's how you can use assessments to create student self-assessments.